Who runs the country? Hey, if, if the, if the, the best, young people, the best, the young adults are so smart, why aren't they running the country? Because there are too many like little rats that get in the way. No, because they don't yeah, know what the fuck they're doing. We have a thing called democracy, and democracy doesn't They don't know what the fuck they're doing. By the way, there isn't... There, there isn't this is... Uh, Pat, let me ask you this. Is the United States a democratic society? It's uh, it's uh, a fiction of democracy. Of democracy, there's no democracy. They're not true democracy. There couldn't be. Do you know what demo- you know what democracy is, right? What's another What's another phrase for democracy? Well, historically, as it originated in Greece, it was only the uh, the wealthy landowners who got a vote, and you know they're the intelligent people, so they should have a say. So, so what do you call the, it? What do you call democracy? What's another phrase just, for democracy? It's right, common. It's about common it. here in the United well, States. That question you're, couldn't you're, be answered by any, any, um, you're talking about the best, you're, most places that's paying attention to the to to to, to life. It's called mob democracy. rule. I was rule. just about to. What is your problem? I, no, I was just if, fucking saying. If a majority of the of the of the Americans wanted guys named Hat to live in a certain part of the country, they could pass a law. Why do you think the countries? that we go into, that, that the United States has gone into, which they, we shouldn't be going into, but we've gone into, and we've broken down the dictatorships and set up democracies. Why do you think they have eventually gone back to dictatorships? Because it was a democracy. We changed it into a democracy. Guess what? Majority rules. But that's not what we are in this country. Even uh, our yes, electoral process is in yes, we are. a democracy Hold on. in the manner of speaking. It's a republic. It can oh, be. Where, it can. It can be challenged. You could look at that dumbass Obama being elected as democracy because guess what? All the stupid people were voting then at that point. How about that? Unfortunately, and let me tell you. And no democracy the is ever. Right. No, Chris. You know, right. democracy is ever a democracy, and I'll tell you why. Because if I tell you I don't like carrots, and two-thirds of us vote that we like carrots, I don't like carrots, how is that fair to me? Is that true That's exactly equality right. in a democracy? No. That is why we are a constitutional republic in this country. But there's never democracy, ever. It, there's no true democracy. No, but there yeah. doesn't need to be. See, a constitutional republic is better than democracy. See, a constitutional republic... Do you know what this can't amount? The individual's rights versus the majority's rights. So, so in other like words, the majority doesn't have, typically speaking, in a constitutional republic, sway over individual rights. You know, I was... Uh, I, hold on, let me, let me, let me put this thing in. Um, I uh, was listening to a podcast the other day, and um, I thought you might particularly find this interesting. Uh, this is the crap about like Sharia law and everything like that. And then this guy who was hosting the show turns around and said, "Well, virtually at the moment, we're living under Talmudic law because you've got all these pe- uh, people in business who make profits on ripping people oh. off, and they're allowed to do it. So basically, we are, you know, we are second-class citizens, and we're living under Talmudic law." Uh, oh. and I thought that was that would explain a lot of things. Who the fuck is that talking? Is that Mad Mike? Yeah, you need to shut the fuck up. You sound weird. But what do I you think about that agree. anyway? I would have to agree, and that's why we need to get the corruption out. But how do you get corruption out? It's inherently corrupt. It's 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 designed it to, to be. be in- no, no, it, the system isn't inherently corrupt. Man is inherently corrupt. No, it's the, the people, system no, 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 no. can't be corrupt that's... because the system is an inanimate object. The guns don't kill. People kill. Guns yes, cannot guns just are dis- jump up and pull their own trigger. No, they don't, but guns are designed to kill, and so is certain things are designed to be used in a certain fashion. No, absolutely. Hey, guess what? Knives, too. Yeah. What's the point? It works. Those? Do you know that more people so, die from knives you- in this country, in the United States, than die from, from guns in the United States? Big deal. So, knives are easy. so, so, so the point is, is that anything can kill. It depends on who's holding the object. But aside from that, 
I know I know in England, as you can probably attest, isn't there a huge push to implement? Isn't your elected representatives pushing for Sharia law over there? No, no, no. They're actually not. There was there was one example, and it was basically it was a civil law thing, any kind of yeah, criminal law. Yeah, and it's between about. two Muslims. And it's only if they consent if, uh, openly to it. Yeah. This it's Sharia law stuff is. Yeah, but guess what? That's a slippery slope. No, it's not. Yes, it is. There's no such thing, Chris. Uh, a slippery slope. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, there, as a matter of fact there, if there, you look there, at there, some, up here in the winter time, yes, there are slippery slopes. No, there's not. If you look at certain aspects of Sharia law when it comes to finance, just in that sector, it's probably um, a little bit more uh, superior to common law over here at the moment. But, you know, the, I mean, all forms of law are essentially going to favor one person over the other. It's, it's, it's crap. And, you know, the it, it serves is, the system. You know, they say the root of all evil is cash, money. And power corrupts. Well, absolute power yeah. corrupts absolutely. I didn't make no, I know, but I look at it. No, what, Chris, I look at it. I look at it this way. It's not that. Oh, Someone someone needs to mute their mic. Okay, can, can you just kick him out of the conversation? He's, his mic doesn't work, and it's just yeah, stupid. It's, it's adding a whole bunch of static, and I can't hear it or anything. <laughs> but oh, listen, I mean, he's got to mute it now. You guys, you guys are very, you guys are going to be very blessed. You guys are going to be very no, blessed no, no. in the sense no, no, no. that you are going to see biblical. Prophecy come to pass. You are actually seeing it, but you don't realize you're Chris, seeing it. Chris, there's no such thing as prophecies. Hold well, guess, on. Guess, oh. guess where? Guess where? Where and yeah. only one place a one world government was prophesied. One place. Oh, I, are you sure that there was only that one place? One place. How do you know is one place? And there is no there is one no place. one world government, Chris. There will never be. Oh, yeah, there will. You think North Korea and hey, the U.S. Guys, are going to join Americans, countries? Americans, hello, Americans, do you realize you've got foreign troops on your, on, on your soil right now? Who? This is, a, this is unconstitutional. Where? Where? Who? UN, UN troops are on yeah. our soil Where? right now. Where? Where? But that's in Where? the interest of us. Uh -huh. That's in, Chris, Chris that's UN in, troops in, in are no, dude, U.S. Dude. troops. Chris. I'm going to tell you one thing. There is... We are in the interest of us. If you read your constitution, You're if you liberal, read your declaration of independence, you, you will have a concept that we allow these people to handle our affairs of state. You are we voting do for not Ron give Paul. Them, we do not allow them to be our rulers. We are the governed. The government is the constitution. People are very transient within our governmental structure. You don't even know what that Chris, means. Chris, are you going to vote for Ron Paul? Oh. That's who you sound like you're going to vote for, for real. Who? Ron you. Paul. Ron Paul. You're going to vote for Ron Paul, I bet. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. I know you're going to vote for Ron Paul because you have that you liberalist for? attitude. Who are you like voting Ron for? Paul. Ron Paul. I, I don't vote. Because you know what? They're all fucking corrupt in my eyes. Well, guess what? Shame on you. Oh, well. Shame on you, Chris. Pish on you. Pish on you. <laughs> and who's voting for Ron Paul? You. I Me. know you, you I are. I got a thing to who say to the person for? that says you're going to be Obama? voting for Ron Paul. What? What do you have to say? That's me. Well, WCP. Who's, who's going to be voting for Ron Paul? Hold Me. Not later. Me. Who are you going to vote for? Newt? Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. Wow. What are you staring at girls I'm again? I'm so blessed having an office right here. Are you staring at girls again? I don't stare, dude. Then why, why were you so blessed? <laughs> why were you saying I'm so blessed to have a, an office here? He's got his binoculars out and everything. <laughs> Chris, across the street the Connelly's. <laughs> Chris, what were you staring at? Um, but I think no, nothing, only gentlemen. Nothing that you would be interested in. Chris, what? the only reason I think you're going to vote for Ron Paul is the fact that you sound like you have a, lib a liberalist agenda to you, that you would vote for Ron Paul, because he's got that mentality of we need to just take care of ourselves here. And Liberal, in this, in, under our current definition, political definition, is a Democrat. I'm not a Democrat. 
I'm a constitutionalist. He's a Tea Party. Yeah, idiot. but no, 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 no. There's two definitions of liberalism. There's classic liberalism, and then there's current liberalism. And you sound like you're more of the current, which is more just par with the Republican views. Or maybe you're just on some whole nother level shit. I don't know. Dude, no. But, that's right. You don't know, because the, cause Republicans, are, Republicans are considered conservatives. Yeah. But they, they're the ones that go around meddling in other people's businesses, like fucking wars, Chris, not Democrats. No, Democrats start wars, too. They all start well, wars. When? Who, who was the last... last it was big business, dude. Who was the last Democrat that started... How long, how long, what did Obama say when he got, before he got into office, what he promised to do? Bring the troops home immediately. But do you think it's that? Wait, wait, how long has he been president? Do you think it's? Do you think it's? How long has he been president? Do you think it's that easy to clean up after that asshole Bush? Yeah, I don't give a shit. That's not the point. How long has he been president? Almost four years. Here you go. Well, his term's up. Here Coming you up go. Here soon. Yeah, but it doesn't take four years. How long did it take? Uh, what's his name? To get us out of Vietnam. Hello. Guess what, dude? All you do is pack up and say, "See you later." We've, we've assisted you. That's if you not need something some we do because then that, that puts that country... Out of here. This that is not that. our... This is an internal civil war. We shouldn't be involved in other people's civil wars. That means we're choosing sides. And why we're choosing sides? Hello. They're the, the, the little rectangular pieces of paper called Federal Reserve Notes. That's why we're involved in other people's civil strife. Yes, thanks to the Republicans who like to make war, like no, Bush and his daddy. Did Reagan start a war? No, I don't think he did. He was a Republican. That was probably the only Republican I can think of as if I've been alive that hasn't started a war. Well, he, he almost did with the contrast thing. Yeah, but... Listen, they both made money. Listen, guess who, started, guess who caused the financial debacle in this country? The Democrats. Guess who was heading up for any May and who was on the uh, the 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 of um, the housing uh, market? Yeah, the housing market was. The housing that was housing... Bernie Frank. Now, guess what? Bernie Frank left office. This is he is quitting, resigning because he's quitting. You mean, you mean now he's quitting? He's quitting because he knows that he was told that if he doesn't quit, I guarantee you, if he was told if he doesn't quit, he's going to be prosecuted. Because guess what? Yeah, how many, how many, how Can many, you stop saying yeah, guess what? How many Democrats do you think made millions of dollars on the, fi on the financial debacle which started with Freddie May, I mean, uh, Fannie, Mae, uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac? I'll tell you how many. Four, and one of them made over $100 million. Hold on. Freddie May and whatever the hell it's called, the were Mac they involved Mae. in the whole housing deal to where... The whole housing debacle which started from the... Okay. By the way, yes. that started from the... Uh, what's called the um, derivatives. Yeah, but guess, but then guess what? The Republicans the, the, had their the, the fucking money. Derivatives, or in other words, um, purchasing uh, insurance on, on on options, whether you own them or not, was outlawed in 1912 by the Republicans. It was reintroduced into law by Bill Clinton which allowed it to happen again. He knew this stuff. He knew. Listen, they're both the elitists. It doesn't matter what party they're in. The elitists are oh, yeah. the elitists because they're narcissistic. Chris, who they're are you narcissistic. staring at? Who are, Chris, who are you staring at uh, out of the window just a few so, minutes ago? That, so the, the elitists don't care. Chris. Their job, their job is to destroy this country. Chris, we don't care. Job. Chris, can you quickly just tell me who you were staring at? Then I'll let you go he back. He doesn't to... care. I was listening to you. Oh, sorry. Well, Chris, I just want to—I just want to know what you were looking at. Oh, I don't know. Some I, Republicans. I do know one thing. I got to get me something to eat. So Chris, I will what... talk to you guys in no, an hour. Oh, Chris, why did you Swiss say Swiss cheese and sautéed mushrooms? Yeah. Chris, why did you say? Oh, I'm so lucky to have a few from this office. <laughs> that was so creepy.